Hey lovelies, welcome to this short and sweet 10 minute hip opening yoga. So if you've got tight hips and you've got 10 minutes, this is the practice for you. We're going to get started straight away in our yogi squat pose, the ultimate hip opener. Your heels do not have to be on the floor in this pose. If they're lifted, that's all right. You'll just be finding a bit more strength and a bit more balance here. So just take some time to wiggle around from side to side, pressing the elbows and the knees towards one another and keeping the chest and the crown of the head nice and lifted. This pose might be really uncomfortable for you right now, but the more time you spend in it, the more and more comfortable it will become. It's a great pose to do every single day. Connect to your breath, sending deep breaths in and out of the belly. As you're ready, one hand in front, one hand behind to support yourself as you plonk your bum down on the floor, then bring the soles of the feet to touch in front of you. Knees drop out to the sides, head stacks over heart over hips you can either bring the hands to the sides of the feet or to the ankles we'll inhale to lift exhale fold down over the legs you can press the elbows into the knees to help you find even deeper opening here Use your nice inhale to draw yourself back up. Then plant the feet on the floor. Hands are out to the sides and slightly behind you. And then windshield wiper the knees from one side to the other. So we're getting internal rotation in one hip and external rotation in the other hip at the same time here. Finding some mobility and some flexibility at the same time. Take two more, one more on each side, make it nice and even, and then come back to center. Bring the left foot in towards the left hip, then bring the right knee over the top. So the heels are coming towards the opposite hip, knees stacking one on top of the other, they might not stack like this, one knee might be up like that and that's completely fine. You don't have to look like my shape, it's just something to maybe work towards in the future. You can bring the hands onto the soles of the feet and then maybe start to fold forwards. Maybe walk the hands out in front or you can just stay upright if that feels like enough for you. If you're folded down, press yourself back up, then start to slide the left shin to be parallel to the front of the mat, and then stack the right shin over the top of it. The right foot is nice and flexed, and the right ankle is overhanging the top of the left knee. So you want there to be a good few inches of overhang there, rather than the ankle resting on top of the knee. Overhanging there, this knee might be really, really high up here, or you might start to work that knee down towards the left ankle. You might stay upright, 
or you might fold down over the legs. Notice whether that right foot has gone floppy. Can you keep it nice and active the whole time? Press yourself back up, unwind your legs, and this time bring the right foot underneath first, right heel towards left hip, left knee comes up and over, landing in our Gomukhasana, our cow face pose. You might stay upright, you might bring the hands to the soles of the feet, or you might start to walk the hands out in front as you fold forwards. Notice whether this side maybe feels different from the other side. There's a reflection of our very asymmetrical lifestyles that we lead. And then press yourself back up, bring that right shin so it's parallel with the edge of the mat and then slide that left ankle so it's stacking, overhanging on the right knee. Left foot is nice and active, toes flexing back towards the knee and once again you might be all the way up here, you might not be able to go as far on this side so just take it to the edge of your stretch on this side on this day maybe staying upright or maybe folding down. And then press yourself back up, unravel your knees, bring the knees as wide as the mat, bring the big toes to touch, sink the hips towards the heels, landing in a child's pose. Your hips might be up here or they might get a bit further down. Don't have to look like mine. Just take a few moments finishing here in our child's pose, wiggling those hips from side to side. And then press those hands into the mat, sliding yourself back up. And that is you done. I hope that your hips are feeling very happy after that stretch, feeling a bit more open. And if you did enjoy it, I would be super duper grateful if you could leave a comment letting me know what you thought. Maybe give the video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And subscribe so that you can get stretchy with me in the future.